number one destination for your local and global tech news made in Miami. I'm Sophia Zool. And I'm Janelle Arguez. Good news for parents worried about what kids are watching. Starting this Friday, Netflix will send bi-weekly email recaps to subscribers who set up a kid's profile on their account. The emails will include a summary of recently watched programs, a breakdown of favorite genres and topics, and suggestions on similar shows to watch next. Streaming services slowly realize that children's programming is essential to keep subscribers from hopping between services. Disney Plus and HBO Max both launched with kids profile support, and CBS All Access added a kids mode. If my parents got a summary of everything I watched on Netflix, they would think I was a serial killer. Actor and tech investor Ashton Kutcher has a deceptively simple way to curb some of the toxicity that takes place on social media, and it has to do with the like button. He believes that these platforms should have dislike buttons. He said, quote, if we just gave people a very simple, frictionless way to say, I disagree with this, you would probably reduce the massive amount of the sort of negative swallow that exists inside of social media. What do you think of that story, Janelle? Dislike. In a busy year for gaming mergers, another deal has just been announced. Tencent is set to fully acquire Sumo Group, the UK developer behind Little Big Planet 3 and Crackdown 3. The Chinese web giant is offering 513 pence per share for the studio, in which it already owns an 8.75% stake, valuing it at $1.26 billion. The acquisition brings another major developer into the Tencent fold. Already the world's biggest gaming company, Tencent owns League of Legends studio Riot Games and many more. See how much money there is in gaming? I don't want to meet a famous athlete anymore. Those guys are poor. I want a nerdy gamer. Those are the real rich boys. Streaming is the name of the content game these days, and now one of the companies that builds tech to do this from anywhere in the world is getting acquired. LiveView, whose satellite and cellular hardware and software for capturing, delivering, live streaming, and broadcasting video is used by more than 3,000 large media organizations, is going to be acquired by private equity firm Carlyle for a value of over $400 million. Many stream employees actually used to work for LiveView before they came to work here, so they clearly saw a future in stream that they just didn't see at LiveView, and they just saw for $400 million. After a year and a half away because of the pandemic, relentless road warrior Bob Dylan returned to a concert stage on Sunday, but this time it was online. He performed for fans who paid $25 to watch virtually through the live streaming platform Veeps. Dylan hasn't performed live since December 2019 with COVID-19 finally concluding his so-called never-ending tour. I can't believe fans would pay $25 to stare at a computer screen. Why wouldn't they just look him up on YouTube? Guys, would you pay to watch me sing online? Comment below and maybe I'll do it. Have you ever stopped to think about how people on YouTube and other social media platforms speak a certain way when they talk? Think about this, for 10 straight years, the most popular way to introduce oneself on YouTube has been a single phrase. Hey guys, that's pretty obvious to anyone who's ever watched a YouTube video, but the company still put in the energy to actually track the data over the past decade. What's up and good morning come in at second and third. But Hey Guys has consistently remained in the top spot. For some reason, speaking to people in the YouTube voice makes viewers keep coming back. Maybe we should start using it here at stream. Hey guys. Well, I mean, bye guys. Hey guys. An Instagram photo of Lionel Messi holding the Copa America trophy following Argentina's win over Brazil has become the most liked sports photo on the social media platform, surpassing a record 20 million likes. Messi posted the picture with the caption, What a beautiful madness. This is unbelievable. Thank you, God. We are the champions. The post broke the previous record of 19.8 million likes that was held by Cristiano Ronaldo after he paid tribute to Diego Maradona following his death. Facebook's head of Instagram on Wednesday announced a social network plan to start showing users full screen recommended videos in their feeds. This includes videos that it recommends to users, including those from accounts that they do not already follow. Users will start to see Instagram's experiments with these changes over the coming months. Quote, we're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app said a Facebook official. Looks like photo sharing apps are becoming more like video streaming services. Streaming really is the future, guys, and it's rubbing off on all apps. Blue Origin, the space company founded by Amazon executive chairman Jeff Bezos in 2000, has been testing prototypes of its new Shepard rocket and capsule for more than a decade. After 15 successful test flights without people on board, Blue Origin is set to put its spacecraft to the ultimate test, its first human spaceflight, with Bezos aboard. Also planning to be aboard for the expected 11-minute flight are his brother Mark, aerospace pioneer Wally Funk, and the Dutch teenager Oliver Damon for the flight to the edge of space. They are to float in microgravity for a couple minutes and then return to the grounds of the company's private facility in Texas. So let me get this straight. 
they're all putting their lives at the hands of some spaceship they ordered on Amazon, Shh, good luck to them. Budweiser is shifting significant resources towards its NFT strategy as they hire viral marketer Gary Vaynerchuk to lead their plans. Gary V, who is in the process of launching his own NFT marketplace, will be helping Budweiser with a campaign of their own. The stream team believes strongly in Gary V's leadership and we're confident Budweiser is in good hands. To learn more about NFTs or Gary V's V friends, check out the stream YouTube channel. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Stream News.